This is going to be a short demo of my new VizPack SSS collection for V-Ray and Octane in Modo. And if you use either or both of these third-party render engines in Modo, then these kits are going to save you a huge amount of time. And you can either buy them separately or in a bundle, whatever suits you best. And what I'm going to do in this video is just to show you some of the presets so you can take a look at them. And then after that, we'll take a bit of a deeper dive and I'll show you how to make some basic adjustments to them. So let's get started. I'm currently in the render V-Ray layout. So we're going to start with some of the V-Ray materials. I'm going to go to my kits button. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this orange icon here to open the VizPack SSS kit. And all three editions of the VizPack SSS kit are found under this one icon. So you have the Modo collection here, the Octane collection here, and the V-Ray collection here. And if for any reason you don't see this folder pane, just make sure to click on this little button here, which will reveal it for you. What I'm actually going to do is just hide the folders temporarily, and I'm just going to shrink this window and bring it to the side so that I can drag and drop the materials into the shader tree while still keeping an eye on V-Ray RT here. So at the moment, I only have the default Modo material applied to my dragon. Let's select a nice candle wax material, let's drag it in there, and I'm going to start V-Ray RT so we can take a look at the material. And as RT clears up, you can see we're getting a really nice, pleasing, waxy material on the dragon. Let's try something else. I'm just going to drag the boiled sweet material into dragon folder and we'll take a look at that. And again, this is looking pretty nice. Let's try something else. How about taking a look at cheese? Let's add that to our dragon. And here we get a really nice soft look over the surface of the dragon. Let's try chocolate next. And then I'm just going to scroll down the list. Let's take a look at some more materials. Next, I'm going to try jade. Then let's scroll down the list a little bit more, see what else there is. I think I'm going to try marble. Or let's try orange juice, perhaps. And I think that looks particularly beautiful. Let's scroll down further down the list and try something else. How about rubber soft? Let's drag that into our dragon group and see what it looks like. And as I hope you can see, I've spent a long time fine tuning every single one of these materials in order to get the translucency to respond in the appropriate manner. So for example, in this soft rubber material, you really do feel the softness that is implied by the name. And an important feature of these V-Ray presets is that they all work on both the CPU and the GPU. So let me demonstrate that. I'm going to dismiss the popover and I'm going to pause RT on the CPU. And then I'm going to launch RT on the GPU by holding control and clicking play. And as you can see, the GPU version of the material matches reasonably well with the CPU version. Let's take a look at the other materials that we've added. Let's try next material and keep going down the list. And so as you can see, this means that you can use either GPU rendering or CPU rendering, depending on which meets your requirements. So having seen the presets in action in V-Ray, let's take a look at Octane next. So I'm now in the Octane render layout and I've got my default Modo material applied to the dragon. Let's try some of the presets from VizPack SSS. I'm going to start with acrylic. And here I think the translucency is looking really, really nice. Let's try candle wax next. Then I'll scroll down, take a look further down the list. Let's try Jade. Or Gummy Bear, maybe. Or Latex Clear. Or scroll further down, maybe. Take a look at Plastic Cloudy. Or maybe Rubber Soft. So this collection includes many different types of translucent materials. So even if the exact material you're trying to create isn't included, you should be able to find a suitable material to use as a starting point. 
So with that in mind, the next thing I'm going to do is just to show you how to do some basic customization to these materials. So I'm back in the V-Ray workspace and I've loaded the boiled sweet preset. So what I'm going to do now is go to the nodes for that material. So if they're not visible, just make sure you click on this overview icon and then you should be able to find the nodes for relevant material. And the way that these materials are built is that they make use of a blend material, which then blends between a V-Ray Fast SSS2, a refraction layer, which controls the transparency, and a reflection layer, which obviously controls the reflections. Now, the reason that I'm using the Fast SSS material rather than the V-Ray scatter volume, which is actually a little bit more accurate, is that the scatter volume is not compatible with GPU rendering, whereas Fast SSS2 is, and that means that all the materials can work whichever render engine you're using. And because these materials are built using a V-Ray blend material, you can change the parameters in the blend material to control how the translucency and the transparency interact. So for example, if I wanted my boiled sweet material to be more transparent, I just need to see where the refraction layer is plugged in and just increase its amount. So if I increase that, you can see that my shader is becoming more transparent. And conversely, if I want my material to be less transparent and more waxy, all I need to do is to reduce the amount of the refraction layer. And then, of course, I can control the SSS independently of that. So, for example, I could reduce the scatter radius. And as you can see, that's creating more depth in our shading. And, of course, I can alter the colors of the material. So let's try altering the overall color and make it a bit more orange. And now I'm going to go back to the blend material and let's increase the transparency once again. And so you can see that even if you just want to use these materials as a starting point, there's a huge amount of flexibility here. And of course, it means that all the nodal networks are already built for you, which in itself is going to save you a huge amount of time. And now I've switched to the Octane layout. And once again, I've got the Boiled Sweet preset selected. So I'm just going to expand the material. And if I select the Boiled Sweet Octane material, that's automatically going to load it into the schematic view. And all of the Octane versions of the preset make use of the Octane Universal Material, which allows you to control the transmission or the transparency, the albedo, what you'd call the diffuse color in Modo, and also has a medium, which is connected to a scattering node. And this is obviously where the subsurface scattering is defined. So the main control here that you need to be aware of is the density. The higher this setting is, the more waxy your material is going to be. So if I reduce the density to zero, you can see we get a very transparent see-through material. And if I increase it to 5,000, we get a very opaque and waxy looking material. So let's reduce this to 500 to get something in between. You can see we've got some very nice translucency here. And let's take a look at how you go about altering the color. Now, if I just want to see the effects of the SSS, the first thing I'm going to need to do is just to make this transmission value pure white and then make the albedo value pure black. And that means that there's no diffuse at all in this material. It's all being defined by the SSS, which is controlled by this absorption color here and this scattering color here. So let's select the absorption color. Let's make that white. Now all we have is the scattering. Now these two values are obviously interdependent on each other. So you need to adjust them both in order to get the results that you're probably looking for. Next, I'm going to reduce the density back down to 50, just to give us a more transparent material. And let's go and define a bit of an albedo color here, just so that it's slightly less transparent, just to give it a little bit more diffuse. And so just like with the V-Ray materials, you can see there's a huge amount of flexibility here. You can create all manner of different types of materials from very transparent to more opaque. And once again, having all the nodes set up in advance means that you're going to save a huge amount of time. So if you're a V-Ray or Octane user in Modo, this kit is going to save you loads and loads of time and allow you 
to create your materials much faster.